Right guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel at the Regal Gentleman Studio. Today we've got Tom in the chair. How are you, mate? Good, mate. You good? You I'm good, mate. I can't complain, mate. So, what are we doing? What's the plan? So, basically, I've been growing my hair out for probably eight, nine months now. Okay, nice. It's always been, traditionally, just similar to yourself, short back and sides. I've not had a cut for so long, it just needs yeah. a shape to it. It's yeah, a yeah. So that if you can go back, you know, a couple, couple of centimetres. Yeah, yeah, definitely. grow into a shape. It's yeah, yeah. Right. So, do we really chase the fighters? Yeah, yeah, if you do, yeah, please, yeah. That's, that's what it's been traditionally, just short back and sides. When was, that, when was that taken? Probably a year or two ago. Was it? Yeah. 2021. It, it, 20, oh, okay. I'm thinking now, it's getting a bit longer. Something like this. Okay, yeah. Nice. Okay, yeah, sound. Really, a patch of paper from American Yeah, let's go on that one. Really, way. just so the, the fringe parts are able to go past the ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, day to day, if I'm working on it, it just, it like, just falls it's through. Annoying. Yeah, okay, all right. What do you do for a living? Well, I'm actually still at uni now. Okay. This year, I'll be working at Investment Bank. Okay. In okay. London. Okay. So, day to day. So, you need something, yeah, you need something fairly smart, don't you, in a yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Normally, I would just say, Grow it, right? If you want to get your hair long, just grow it. But I think it's so unbalanced at the moment because it's so top heavy. Exactly. As you can see, you know, I'm sure you can see on cameras. I've just turned to the camera, it's a bit easier. You've got an awful lot of length in the top compared to the sides. Look at that, it's such a big contrast. Now, what I think the best thing to do, I'm just turn you back to the mirror, would be to cut in some shape through the back and sides to keep as much length as we can. Maybe just maybe slightly tidy up or through the edges a little bit. Yeah. All right, because it does look a little bit. Have you got? I do, I do kind of like the flicks at the back. Yeah, yeah, I've that's got, fine. Yeah, got a little bit of a triangle head shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Having the flicks at the back kind of offsets it quite nicely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Perfect. I think at the minute though, it's what it is. It's it's got so much weight here. Yeah. Like it does look like though you've you've grown out from like almost like a boardwalk empire kind of hipster yeah, 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 kind of yeah, long yeah. top and then shaved sides. You know, that's what it kind of looks like to me. So what you want to do around the bottom here, you can keep the flicks, but you just want to tie. They're just they're just they're sitting on a triangle like this yeah, at the moment. Yeah. So I think you just want to balance that. But I think if we could keep a lot of the length or pretty much all the length on the back and sides, that'd be nice. Just cut into it to make it move a little bit for you. Yeah. I don't think it's worth keeping it in the same style all the time. I think at the moment you're in now is is having it and wearing it slightly different every or every other day or whatever just to get used to a style that you like because you might see them photographs and you might like the look of them yeah. but for the time being you might not be able to achieve that but find a style that's going to work for the time being to grow to that length now i know you want to grow these bits out to sit behind the ear but there's no point in growing them out so unbalanced yeah. i would grow out the back and sides and then keep the top growing at the same time not having this very top heavy finish yeah. all right the back and sides can stay the same we just need to balance out the neckline get rid of all this weight and all this length through here and take a quite a lot of length off from around here and that way it will look like a longer hairstyle not look like a grown out short hairstyle of course, yeah. is that all right for yeah, you yeah perfect, so yeah. don't be alarmed if you see loads of length coming off it will it'll just be better to grow out in a more of a balance than it is now because as you can see it's very flat because it will make it look like a longer style. Yeah. I know it sounds crazy going, taking length off, but I guarantee you it'll make it look like a longer style. Yeah, no, no, so no, no, no. we just cut it into balance today, and then we can keep growing it in a better shape. Is that all right? Yeah, perfect. Cool, man, all right. Well, let's get on you up and get you started then. All right, Tom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a horseshoe section. The best thing about Tom's look is that he's got an end goal. There's a lot of people come to me now with no end goal, they're just growing the hair out. It's so much easier to pick and work with the style that we've got now to grow into something well. But at least we know the end goal, so I can work to that end goal now. So what we need to do in this haircut, we need to break up the back and sides, separate what's going on through here, balance all the sections that look as though they're slightly undercut or slightly disconnected, and take some length off the top to give a manageable style as this hair grows out. Because I don't want Tom to get two, three weeks, even a month into this new look, and be like, I can't be asked growing my hair anymore. I want him to be able to enjoy this length as it is now, and then enjoy it getting longer and longer and longer. So I'm gonna talk Tom, uh, talk through Tom um, some you know product choices and just kind of get a feel for how he's gonna style his own hair. And we'll do that at the end. Once his hair cuts in, I'll show him how to style it. It's gonna be very low maintenance as well. I don't want you to spend too much time. Yeah. Especially if you're going into work from going to uni, it's gonna be a bit of a change up early, moving house as well, we've just discussed. So I don't want this to be like three different brushes, four different products, blow dry and blow dry and blow dry. I just want this to be literally either air dry or a little bit of a blast in the morning with a, with a hair dryer, a little bit of spray in your fingers, and that's it. You know what I mean? Maybe a finishing product if you want to pop it up a little bit more. Now the top is all sectioned off. You'll see the back of Tom's head is very flat. Doesn't matter though, because we'll keep a length through there, we'll keep a length at the bottom. But if you look how much length is disconnected through here, can you see how much length is coming from that? Like that nape almost looks like it's been that's not even that old. But then you've got all of this length sitting through here. We don't need that. All that's doing is making everything protrude out to the back. It's keeping too much weight. And it's just not really doing any, doing them any favors. So what we need to do, we need to shorten this down to break up this longer hair. So the longer hair falls nicely. 
I'm going to start on the right hand side. I'm right handed, so I'll start on the right hand side. Now, I want to keep a lot of length in here, but I don't want to keep this almost 90s curtains y kind of vibe going on. See, it's all, it's very short underneath. See them short bits there? But then we've got a big disconnection sitting over. So I need to take that disconnection out. So even though I'm going to remove length, the perimeter is staying the same. Now that is what gives the ultimate look of, of it being longer, is the length over the years. All this here is doing you no favours whatsoever. It's just making it sit very round. Almost sitting, like we said, when you, when you sit down, that kind of boy bandy. Yeah. It's that rounder shape sitting in, and we don't want that. Fairly wide section on this, so if I was going to take it shorter, I'd be doing a section about that wide. But because we're keeping some length in it, I'm going to do a section about this wide. Okay, so just before the front of the ear. And I used underneath as my guide, okay? Pull. From that section, so you've got a guide from behind and you've got a guide underneath. There we go. Perfect. Pull that out. Again, we're not cutting this bit here. We're just going to blend it in. So as you see, we've kept all that down the bottom. But by taking the top bit shorter, it's going to sit squarer, but it's just going to look longer now. I know that sounds a bit crazy, but all you were seeing was the top bit being long. All you were seeing was this rounded this connection sitting on top of this length, which was probably making it look shorter because the top bit was really long, but down here was quite short. There we go, see that? So a guy from behind and a guy from underneath. As so we get to there, we're not taking any length underneath. See, that's what we're main maintaining. On the nose, following the guides. There we go, working to that. This little middle bit here is where it's going to change. Right down there. Get into the bottom, so that is all starting to balance much nicer now. So if you look at that side, that moves around, it's not sitting as round, you've got a little bit of length in there, it's moving about, but that is just all yeah. long layers. Mm -hmm. But the length is exactly the same. We're still maintaining head shape, we're still following our guide. Pull that out. Now look how much better that looks now. Actually looks like he's got a longer hairstyle. Okay, so still working around to this side. Again, don't worry, I'm following the guide. It's all good. There we go. Just gonna do a bit of a cross check to make sure that all my length is staying the same. As you see, a lot more length came off the back, but I'm still following the guide. Perfect. All balanced. Now, we're gonna work on the top now. I'm gonna create a T section through the top, so that's coming from the middle. So, how to get that is head back on me, Tom. There we go. And just work to the back. And I'll lift your head forward for me, Tom. And split that like that. So, we're going for a center part now. We're not cutting it into a center part, it's just so I can section it a bit easier. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a section from just off center, like so. I'm going to take another section just above the round of the head. I'm just split it up into three bits. There we go. So I've just separated that into three parts. So I can take my sections nice and easy. Now, I'm going to pull this straight out from the head. I'm not looking to leave loads of length in this. I actually want to remove a lot of length because we've got such a disconnection now. I want to remove a lot of length. So I want this to be a lot shorter so that it all, again, balances. It looks like a longer haircut. I'm going to point cut in. So I'm using a guide under here. I've got a guide still. I'm just going to point cut into this. There we go. Pull this out. Now I've got our next section from there. Pull that down. Same thing again. Pull that straight out. Got a guide. And I'm going to cut the fringe at the same length as well. So that's what I'm doing, it's just layering in this haircut nicely for him. So at the centre, like that, I pull this out, and cut these corners off here. And taking nice wide sections. Same again this side now. Good 
Cara do Nunes. Passou. Can I'm not looking to build up too much weight through the crown. There we go. Let's take a bit of length off as well. Not that much, I do. This should have a bit of balance to it for him again. So it falls nicely all the way back, but also we can have a bit of movement on the top as well. And just slightly. See, I'm not taking length off. Just breaking it up. Now, take a little bit off his fringe now. So I'm going to take a section straight across. So what I'm going to do, take a bit off the front. There we go, pop that much off. And that'll connect to the side. Now I'm going to use a little bit of slide cutting through this. A bit like what I would do with the razor. Pick it up, like so and just slide through like that. But I want this to be a bit harsher, this texture, okay? I want this to fall a little bit harsher for him. A bit more of a, sort of a severe texture finish to it. And what the razor does, the razor gives more of a seamless finish. Quite high up this time though. Just keep it out of the way of the fringe. But just with the change of product, you can add a bit of height if you want, a bit of bulk. I just want a bit more body than anything else in this hair. Right, that's it. Don't need to do any more now. That is completely balanced. The length is kept all around the perimeter. The top is now balanced in, so it looks like a more of a balanced haircut. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna tidy up his neck here, but I'm gonna keep all the length. I'm just getting any of them little neck hairs that make it look as though it's grown out, which is what I don't want. I want it to look as though it's meant to be like this. Right, so to finish, I'm gonna put in a salt spray for you, okay? Yeah. Well, that would do. Recommend daily then. Daily, yeah. yeah, salt sprays are good. You I just give a little bit of grip to the hair. Okay, yeah. they just help. If you want to wear it slick back, they really help for that. If you want to wear it textured, they really help for that That's as well. I've been using. Bare salt spray. Right. Brilliant. All right, cool. I'm gonna use a little bit of Balmain. Okay, this is texturizing salt spray. It smells amazing as well, by the way. Just spray it in. Oh, yeah, Doesn't that smell incredible? I yeah. I love it. To get a lot of confidence. Oh, mate, 100%. <laughs> man. It's brilliant. It's almost like an aftershave for your hair. You know what I mean? It, re it really is. You know. So spray it in, okay, like that. And then again, like I said to you at the start, I'm not gonna put like a brush on this, I'm just gonna dry it back. Just put my fingers on. Even if you wore it just naturally dried like that, yeah. it would look fine, would all right? Would you say straight back or side part? I'd brush it all back and then you can pick at yeah. when it's dried, okay. all right? I'd do, a high, I'd do high speed, high heat, just blast it through, okay? Then I want this to be super low maintenance, okay? Dry it all over. But the only place you don't want to dry it is forwards. Okay? So from side to side, bring your fingers through it like this. Okay? Make sure to do it with a nozzle on as well. Don't, don't do it without a nozzle. It'll just blast it everywhere. Alright? Can you see how different that looks now? And that is just literally the cut and salt spray. Now, finish with a bit of cold air, okay? So just turn the heat off. And you should have like a little blue button or a little button with the snowflake on. And just hold that over it, okay? And just work your fingers through it. You don't have to be as vigorous, you're just basically cooling the hair down, okay? It helps the product last longer. Also, it stops it from going frizzy as well, all right? Right. That took almost three minutes to do. Brilliant. That's not a long sort of thing to do in the morning if you really wanted to. Yeah, cool. You could let it dry naturally if you wanted to, especially when it gets a bit longer, but three minutes. Just with a bit of salt spray. I will, I will finish off with something else, just show you what you can achieve through this look now, yep. but you could just leave it like that if you really want to. Yeah, it looks, it looks good it. enough. Yeah, it looks good enough. Flip the ends out with your hands and that's it. In terms of products, yeah. what would you recommend? I'm going to use what I've got in my hair today, which is Hans de Foucault. It's a, it's called claymation. Oh, my ass is exact same as I have. Is it? I've got it on 
use. Mate, it's awesome. It, it really, really is. And I think because it's so dry, I know clays predominantly add thickness to hair, yeah. but I think when you work a clay into longer hair, especially your style, your texture of hair, mate, you've got good hair to grow, to grow out. You really have. I'm sure anyone watching will agree on that, right? What a clay will do, it will add a little bit more hold and definition, all right? Now you could, at this moment, wear it like Christian Bale. Your hair's probably the same length as Christian Bale's in American Psycho, right? Because right? it's not just, it's just sitting over the ears on the sides. That's what his is in that picture. Yeah. You showed me a variation of lengths, but I reckon yours is that. So if you want to, you can wear it coming all back, as it is now, and just put a bit of a clay on it and wear it back. I'll show you that now if you want, so you can see what it looks like. So through your hands, through your fingers as well. Always work it through your fingers because you run your hands through your hair. So if it's on the insides and outsides, it coats it better, okay? You just want to wear it. That's quite a good tip, man. I never thought of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True, Everyone just puts it on the palm of the hand and does this and flattens it down. I see. Right? Now what I like about this, it's got a very natural gloss to it, which I think for the style you want, is very Christian Bale in, in American Psycho. It's not greasy looking, it's just a natural gloss. And I think that's the difference. Sometimes with, with pomades and with clays, you've got to remember that there's a natural shine and there's a, a sort of greasy shine, right? This is a natural shine, even on your color hair. I would never recommend the pomade on your color hair because it will make it look very greasy because the yeah. light colors will, will absorb the, the lighter bottom more and the dark colors will reflect the lighter more. It just makes it look greasy, all right? Now that could be and a bit more effort could easily be Christian Bale in American Psycho. Like that. Okay? That's yeah. what you can go for. Let me show you something else you could do though. If you were to go on a weekend or you're going to go out overnight, mm -hmm. I would bring it from the right to the left because you get more height that way. It doesn't want to fall. That, it, yeah, you're going against the way it wants yeah. to go. And that way you get that nice little bit of height in there without doing anything to it. It just gives natural height. I'd sort of bring it off on a sort of finger part and like this. So I think that, that there just gives that more squareness to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just work my fingers to it and just scrunch your hair like that. And what you're left with is you emphasize a bit of curl through your hair and it makes it more messy. And you go for that more safery kind of look, you know, that kind of like bang on trend, lived in, loose textured finish. Yeah. So you could have a haircut for work and a haircut outside of work as well. Which I think if you take off your mask for me, Tom, if you don't mind, mate, and I'll take this gown off here as well. What you're wearing today, I think this kind of look, perfect, isn't it? If you have too much of a, a contradiction on hair and clothing, it doesn't always work. No. So I think what you're wearing today, I think that goes really well. If you had a suit on, slick back, you'd change the whole look. Cool, shit. Well, like there we go. And I'll show you the back. So can you see the balance in that now, over what you had before? Yeah. Oh. Massive difference. Looks great, doesn't Massive it? Massive yeah. There we go, mate. As easy as that. And now you've got a hairstyle you can grow out and actually enjoy where you're growing out. Definitely. And that's the main thing. All right, mate, happy, yeah? Happy days, mate. Sweet, man. Thank you very much.